completely flat, man. Hey guys, what is up? Excuse this disgusting pimple on my face. <laughs> I am breaking out under all of the stress that I've been dealing with these past couple of weeks. Today it is October 9th, so that means tomorrow morning I'm scheduled to have my top surgery. I, <laughs> I can't believe it's happening. I'm so excited. I'm just containing all this excitement because I know I still have to pack and clean my room before I go to my dad's. But I just wanted to capture on camera that this is the last day in my entire life that I will ever have to wear a binder again. Oh my god. Last time. Yeet! I will check in with you guys later. Binder free. Hey guys, what's up? It's Harrison. So it is 11.40. This is the night before surgery. I have surgery tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I have to be checked in. So I'm just about to go to bed. I'm very lucky and fortunate to have two loving dads under the same roof that can offer me a safe haven while I'm recovering. Yeah, so I I can't have any liquids or any food past midnight, so getting a drink and that's going to be difficult because I like to drink in the middle of the night without knowing it, so I'm going to have to hide my Gatorade. It still feels unreal. I think it's really going to hit me once I'm in that hospital gown in the room. It's going to hit me. A big part of this, a big part of me coming out and being so public about it and persevering through a lot of things uh, with my trans identity is that I had to make a very tough decision at the age of 11 that no 11 year old should have to make. Um, I had to sacrifice my identity to conform with everybody around me and to blend in and to feel welcome in my own home and most importantly, to be loved by my mother. And that was the biggest sacrifice I've ever made. I sacrificed who I was, everything I wanted in life, everything I liked, my personality. And there's a lot of years in my life I wish I could take back, but this surgery is the first step to get my life back and to enjoy the rest of it that I have on this planet. I'm doing this while I'm young, so I can still enjoy the world and do things I've always wanted to do. The way I was looking at it was I had this little ghost boy following me around ever since I had to make the decision. You know, always saying, why did you have to bury me? Why did you have to, you know, take me out? Why did you have to kill me to, to get accepted by other people? They always tell you to not compromise your identity for, for anybody and to never change for someone. And I never knew what that meant until I came out and I found my identity um, buried under many years of suppression. And when you suppress something for so long, you forget about it. And in the most unexpected of ways, it pops out and makes itself known. And that's what happened with me. But I've been working hard. I've been doing all this on my own and I'm super proud of myself and every little thing that I do for me is a pat on the back and when I look in the mirror I'm happy and I have a warm feeling inside. I've been able to resuscitate that little boy. That little boy is me. Every step that I take I'm getting closer and closer to reuniting with myself and I'm so excited. And I can't wait to be free. So these moves are gonna go. I already love people. Because I love me. And I wanna share that. But yeah, good night y'all. Love you. Good morning y'all. It is 6.20 approximately. And it's surgery day. Ooh. I, I'm exhausted. I'm really exhausted. That's 625. I overshot that a little bit.
Um, but yeah, surgery day. Yay. I'm just getting dressed and brush my teeth and get ready to go to the hospital. I am extremely hungry, extremely thirsty, and I can't have anything to eat or drink, so that sucks ass. Um, so I'm wearing my favorite button-up shirt, and for the occasion, some Halloween underpants. Stay festive. But anyway, I'm just checking in. I might check in again when we get to the hospital, but fucking tired. Too tired to be nervous. But all that'll change. See you later. Peace out. Alright, people. So, tiny update. Uh, we're just a little one. Just a wee update. Just a wee, just a wee update. <laughs> <laughs> we're on our way to the hospital. Of course, rush hour in the morning. Yay. Show our friends the the daily Toronto commute. Yep, this is this is it. And we just got on the highway, so we got a long way to and go. It's 7 a.m. It is 7 a.m. That's what I said. Yeah. Hey you, you must be the girlfriends. <laughs> In a second you'll be wrapped around my finger. Cause I can, cause I can do it better. There's no other, so what you gonna think? And she's so stupid, what the I hell? I think I want some think? bacon. <laughs> I really do right now. So they're at Timmy's and they're having breakfast, and I haven't eaten in 12 hours. Oh, poor baby. Yeah, poor me. My mouth is pasty. I mean, in 12 hours, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'll kill you with my breath first. <laughs> Would you like a piece of my old-fashioned no. plane? No, I don't know. I like so much. <laughs> Alright, I will check in with you guys later. <laughs> I'm at the hospital. I'm waiting to be taken back. I'm nervous. I'm starting to get really nervous. And this thing goes off and beeps. And I go meet the nurse. I don't know if my family can come be come back with me. I hope so. But I'm nervous. Excited. Who are you talking to? <laughs> nice face. <laughs> Update. Um, it is 9:35, probably 9:40. Um, my surgery is supposed to start at 9:30, but the surgeon has not arrived here yet. I've seen a nurse. I'm dressed and ready to go as you can see. Don't have the IV in it yet. Um, took a few Tylenols but I think there's well, something laced in them because I do feel a bit tired. But not enough to knock me out. Um, currently laying on a stretcher. Just waiting for her to arrive. Family is getting a little bit impatient. But me too, so that's okay. I'm excited. The nerves are kind of wearing off because I'm just, I just want to get this over with. Because right now, all I can think about is food food and a drink. I am starving and I'm thirsty, so that's all I can think about right now. It's probably the last time I will see you guys before I go under, so wish me luck. So, bye bye boobies. Harry, what's up, bro? It's your cousin Max. Just sending this video, bro, to give you all the, send you all the best of vibes, man. I can send you all my love. Tomorrow's gonna be the day, man. I can't wait. Tomorrow's the day. It's gonna be sick, bro. <laughs> I'm wishing you a speedy recovery, bro. Love you so much, dude. Everything's gonna go fucking beautifully, man. Sending all the love from here in Ottawa and the family. Love you, man. Peace. Two hours later.
you guys. Sorry for the fan. I am in bed. It's 10.30. I got out of the hospital at, I think, like 7 o'clock at night. They were understaffed during the day, so it just took a really long time to get everything done. The left side is, like, perfect. But on the right side, I have a small hematoma. Hence the bruising up here. The doctor said it should be draining on its own. And if not, she would have to drain it. It would only be a concern if I had hard lumps under my skin. And in that case, I would have to go back into surgery. But there were no lumps. Everything is smooth. Everything's fine. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about it. I've been having a lot of nausea and they've just they've perforated my skin a, quite a lot. They couldn't find a vein on my one arm when I was going under. So there's like holes all over my arm. I had a hole for the IV. I had a hole for the other IV. I feel like this process was harder just because I had no food or drink inside of me. So every time they would give me something, I would feel really sick. I'm a little sore. I just find the more I move, the more I use my arm muscles. The more they twitch and drain and make me feel nauseous. I just had a small nap. It's just, it's been a lot more painful than I thought it was going to be. It's very difficult. It's very scary. Like, I just hope everything goes, goes well, you know? Because I do not want to go under again. I hated that part. Like, hated it. I just want to heal and be left alone. So I see her tomorrow at 4 p.m. for a post-op and she will change my bandages again but as soon as I got home not really as soon as I got home but I was moving around too much in bed and the right side the hematoma started draining and of course got all over my stomach my back my arm my phone but luckily I've had my dad and my stepdad Steve to help me with everything. The real champs. Because I'm stubborn. I don't ask for help when I need it. So, anyway, I just wanted to update you guys while I could. Because now my chest is going to start hurting because I'm talking and moving my arm. And I think I have to go pee. So, I'll be in some pain. But anyway, wish me luck. Check in with you guys later when I'm more uh, mobile. Alright, peace out. So this is my chest, 
one day post op. I'm still slouching. I'm still in a lot of pain. It looks awesome. It's painful. It's not glamorous. But it's totally worth it. So this is day two post-op. Not in as much pain. It's just there's a lot of fluid in my stomach. And up here, I have a lot less pain in my neck. And I have a lot more mo mobility in my arms. But yeah. Ah, that's good enough. Hey, what is up you guys? It's Harrison. I just got out of the shower. <clears throat> This is my chest, two days post-op. Still a little bit of swelling on this side here. Overall, it's doing fantastic. Can't even tell with the angle of this camera, but it's improved so much and I am so happy. Completely flat, man. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Day two post op. Just wanted to show you guys. Just about to hop in. Hop in the shower. Um, so I'm just gonna take off my band aids right now. This side might be getting drained tomorrow. Tomorrow I am seeing my surgeon at 1:15 to check up on this. Uh, the bruising, the swelling has gone down, but you can see it's kind of migrated up here, and it's made its way. It's made its way all the way down here. So. I can't help but to worry about every little thing that's going on, uh, down to the little air bubbles that are sitting right up here. So yeah. Lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. Yeah. So. Hey guys, what's up? I just came back from a second post-op appointment with Dr. Zorn. So, um, everything's fine. She's super impressed with how the left side is doing. Um, she's also pretty happy about this side. Um, but just as a precautionary thing, she drained it a little bit. Um, so she drained 60 cc's out of the right side with a 16 gauge needle with no anesthetic, no local anesthetic, nothing. Um, it was fine, it's just now it's kind of awkward because I guess it's taking to my chest wall but I will just show you what you guys have been wanting to see is my chest and I love showing it off because it looks amazing. Super happy with it. So it's pretty flat now. See how much it's changed on this side, like significantly gotten smaller. Let's see right here, that's where she put the needle. She had me hold the needle, and I wasn't even aware of it. I thought I was holding up some old rag, soaking up the, the, the blood or anything like that. But Steve just told me I was holding the needle in my own skin at that point, which is super gross. But yeah. So, here's the not so glamorous side. If y'all can see, blood has just been leaking down over here yeah that's it for today's update um tomorrow i'll be one week post-op so six days post-op beautiful looking chest super thankful why did i do that <laughs> all right peace out going to bed tonight i was able to turn on my side for like 20 seconds and my movement has pretty much 
increase to here, what I can do here. Um, so anyway, I'm just about to hop in the shower, that's why I look gross, but I thought I would show you guys um, the difference. Oh shit, <laughs> my t-shirt's about to rip. So I'm still bloated from all the fluid up here, because a lot of it's migrating to my stomach. As you can see, I'm still kind of bruised, so a lot of it, a lot of the swelling is being drained into my stomach, so I'm very bloated at the moment. The fan just went on, but anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to take off my bandages. Some of the sensation around here is returning, but I still can't feel uh, anything on my nipples. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this looks so good, and I'm like... As the days go on, I'm more and more mobile, and the swelling goes down, I am not as dopey. I'm much more happy and appreciative, and I'm a lot less sore today, so it's probably the good mood in the meds. Um, but yeah, when I wake up in the morning, that's normally the worst pain, because I've been off of painkillers for like eight hours, so I wake up feeling like there's an elephant sitting on my chest. It looks so good. I'm not to hit the gym a little bit, but it looks so good. I'm so happy. I'm just going to take you guys here. If you can see a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to hop into the shower. It's going to be bliss. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. One week post-op. Hey, what is up you guys? Uh, this is Harrison. I am... What day is it? 16 days post-op. So last time I checked in, I just got my hematoma drained. Um, so I just went to go get it drained again on Tuesday. Uh, this time, 70 cc's came out of it. Uh, she said that Tuesday coming up would probably be the last time that I would go have to get drained. No filming, a -hole. <laughs> like my ghetto setup. Can you get you? Oh, thank you. Where are you going? No! She doesn't listen to you. She just I don't want your big bro. No. Yeah, so Dr. Zorn said that uh, this Tuesday coming up would be the last time I would be getting this guy, or I should say this gal, drained. Right now I'm calling her my camel boob because of all the bruising. Alright. This is my chest, two weeks post-op. Um, obviously I am bloated still because of the inactivity. I've been going for walks, but... You know, I haven't been to the gym or anything, so I look... You know, you need to hit rock bottom before you make your way up, so this is rock bottom, people. This one's pretty much healed, just minor uh, cuts that need to heal over. And obviously there are there is swelling here and up here. Really no need for explanation. Super happy with it, nonetheless. Uh, I just gotta be patient. That is it for today. I will tune in with you guys later. I hope you have a good night. I'm gonna go a shower, so peace out. Hey, what is up, people? Um, just wanna get this in the frame. I fucking love this hat. Tomorrow I'll be three weeks post op. This shirt, although it is crappy, I haven't been able to wear it even when binding because you could see my chest, and this is the first time that I could wear it and be completely flat in it. Like, for real. So today I went to go see Dr. Zwan. I got my hematoma drained for the third time. Uh, first week we got 60 cc's out of it. Second week we got 70 cc's out of it. And this time uh, she didn't even mention the number, but it was probably like 10. So I just wanted to show you guys what my chest looks like now, three weeks post-op. Um, so this, this is my chest, three weeks post-op as of tomorrow. Um, so this is side view and side view. Yeah.
But yeah, this is my beautiful chest. I am so happy with it. I can't wait to play volleyball. I can't wait to go to the gym and look buff as fuck. Dr. Zorn has been amazing and using her words, this was a home run. So I am super happy with my results. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a close up then. So, um, anyway, that is it. Just a short update. I wanted to show you how the progress has been going on and where the bruising is now. I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you maybe next time. Hey guys, it's me um, doing a last check-in for this video. I am officially one month, two days post-op and I'm just going to show you my chest. Um, Right about now. Yeah, so this is my chest. One month, two days post-op. Sensation is slowly coming back. Um, I'll show you. My nipples are now reacting to the cold a bit more. Before, they did not. This one did not anyway. Bruising's gone, but it's quite hard all around here, whereas this one is soft, and the obvious difference is this nipple is darker and is sticking out. But that is because behind the nipple there is still a hard mass, so hopefully that will go away. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you appreciate the documentation of my journey. I will see you guys next time. Peace, love, happiness, spread awareness, and bye!